In this video we share Sister Lucy of Fatima and the Diabolical Disorientation. The following comes from Mark Mallet's spiritual writing, The Diabolical Disorientation. The late servant of God, Sister Lucy of Fatima, once warned of a time coming when people would experience a diabolical disorientation. People must recite the rosary every day. Our Lady repeated this in all her apparitions, as if to arm us in advance against these times of diabolical disorientation, so that we would not let ourselves be fooled by false doctrines, and that through prayer, the elevation of our soul to God would not be diminished. This is a diabolical disorientation invading the world and misleading souls. It is necessary to stand up to it. Sister Lucy to her friend Doña Maria Teresa de Cuna. The root of this disorientation is straightforward, sin, plain and simple. Sin is darkness, and when we commit it as individuals, shadows invade the soul and cloud the faculties, the devil seeks to create an internal war, a kind of civil spiritual war. Pope Francis, September 28, 2013. But when sin becomes institutionalized in a nation, entire peoples are plunged into an eclipse of reason as economic, political, and social ethics and norms are corrupted. When it becomes worldwide, as it has, then you have entered the end of an era. There is only one path forward, repentance. If then my people, upon whom my name has been pronounced, humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their evil ways, I will hear them from heaven and pardon their sins and heal their land. 2 Chronicles 7:14. It should be clear to all right now that, Despite some good signs out there, the zeitgeist is toward a rapid rejection of Christianity. That is, repentance is mostly absent, much less preached from the pulpit. As such, the warning of Our Lady of Akita stands as a sober warning that is tempting to dismiss as too extreme. As I told you, if men do not repent and better themselves, the Father will inflict a terrible punishment on all humanity. It will be a punishment greater than the deluge, such as one will never have seen before. Fire will fall from the sky and will wipe out a great part of humanity, the good as well as the bad, sparing neither priests nor faithful. Message given through an apparition to Sister Agnes Sasagawa of Akita, Japan, October 13, 1973. I know that's a dire word. But if we are approaching the day of justice, then these prophecies are also consistent with scripture. The prophet Zechariah writes, In the whole land, says the Lord, two-thirds shall be cut off and perish, and one-third shall be left alive, and I will put this third into the fire, and refine them as one refines silver, and test them as gold is tested. They will call on my name, and I will answer them. I will say, they are my people, and they will say, the Lord is my God. Zechariah 13 8-9 His people are the ones who do repent and strive to be faithful, and to whom the Lord promises, because you have kept my message of endurance, I will keep you safe in the time of trial that is going to come to the whole world to test the inhabitants of the earth. Revelation 3:10. Thus, this time of testing, this diabolical disorientation that has drawn the world into error, has a blessed ending for those who repent and accept the free gift of God's love and mercy, in order to free men from bondage to these heresies, those whom the merciful love of my Most Holy Son has designated to effect the restoration will need great strength of will, constancy, valor and confidence in God. To test this faith and confidence of the just, there will be occasions when all will seem to be lost and paralyzed. This, then, will be the happy beginning of the complete restoration. Our Lady of Good Success to Venerable Mother Mariana de Jesus Torres, 1634, on the Feast of the Purification. We are in a spiritual battle unlike anything we've ever seen, perhaps since the dawn of creation. It's just eerie how St. Paul, 2000 years ago, described our narcissistic generation, saturated in violence, lust, rebellion, vile language, and the ease of attacking others through social media. Understand this, there will be terrifying times in the last days. People will be self-centered and lovers of money, proud, haughty, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, irreligious, callous, implacable, slanderous, licentious, brutal, hating what is good, traitors, reckless, conceited, 
lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, as they make a pretense of religion but deny its power. 1 Timothy 3 1-5. You can do so on a personal level and in your families in the following seven ways. 1. Go to frequent confession. 2. Pray the rosary. 3. Fast and pray. 4. Feed your heart with the Eucharist. 5. Forgive and love. 6. Turn off the media. 7. Pray for the Pope. Through these seven steps above, you will be able to repel Satan's attacks and dispel the diabolical disorientation that seeks to sweep away the world in a deluge of confusion and lies. For more from Mark Mallet go to countdowntothekingdom.com. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.